All right. We got the stream going. We've got the audio from the game going. Here we go. So, we already did Evergreens, the full front and back nine. We did Dunes. We haven't done Dunes Challenge yet. And we haven't tried the Arctic. So, uh, just go in order here. We'll do the nine holes of Dunes. So here's the Dunes Challenge. It's the back nine of Dunes. Mahara by Vahers Gelden, everyone. This is Paul Spooner. And uh, this is 40 Golf. All right, now, someone pointed out to me that... If I go into the settings, look sensitivity, I can just increase this. And I can decrease this. Oh, he's updated, so they're separate. That's cool. That's a that's an update. Ah, oh, there we go. It's a little better. And then uh, now the putt sensitivity is lower. And the look sensitivity is higher. Great. So, uh, here's pyramids and stuff. There's that dual face thing. Is there a crystal in this? No, there's no crystal in this map. Hmm. Hmm. It's a very wibbly course. But it doesn't look like it's... Okay, so there's a, there's a little... thing here. It's very wibbly wobbly course, but if we aim just right, we should be able to Let's give it a good old whack. Let's see how we do here. Whoa. Uh-oh, we're up against the edge of a thing. This is going to be a tough putt to, like, go over the edge of this, uh, 4D. Eh, we should be able to do it this way. There we go. There we go. This it wasn't too bad. Stroke three. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Get par on the course here. Oh, yeah. The trail it says. Uh, it's a flat thing, and then it goes flat again. But the course is on the other side of that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try this. Yep, yep, good. Uh, and then we'll realign. So it's going to go up a little, so we should be able to go up like this. Oh, yes! Excellent. And there's a way into there. I uh, don't think we're going to be able to, yeah, the hole's off the, off the edge of our slice, but maybe we can, maybe we can get it up this way. Oh no! Oh, the whole thing is hyperbolic. Oh, that is, that is nasty. Oh! To the, the golf thing a little bit here. Right, well, it didn't fall in the hole anyway. Very, very slowly. Oh, that was too much. Too much. Oh, there we go. Okay, now if we line to the hole, we should be able to get it right in. Yeah. Great. Five over, but we made it. the edge. 
Okay. It's just a. Uh, let's see. So we want to. We want to kick it off that way, maybe. And go around that way. Uh, oh, but it's gonna fall. Yeah, it's gonna fall off. We have to go this way. Sand trap. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Aligned with the hole. And there we are. Par. Tetra block. This shape. Uh, okay. Where's the hole? The hole's over there. We can't get there. Uh, let's see. Probably want to go up a little bit so that we can roll back down. We'll end up there. Too high. Let's see. Can we get around it this way? Oh no! <laughs> All the way down, of course. Ah. All right. Well, we'll aim up a little more and uh, see if we can give it a good old clock here. There we go. Oh. Oh. Close. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're gonna aim up a little bit more, not too much. Otherwise, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Aligned with the hole and we're in. One over. Could have been better, but that wasn't too bad. It's not up exactly. It's path, I suppose. Um, the thing, thing, thing. Now, um, I want to rotate our, our volume view here. There we go. Yeah, so that's what's going on. So, uh, connects both ways, depending on how you want to do it. I think if we just give it a good old clonk this way, it should go in. Yeah, that's the right idea. Once it comes to a rest. Alright. And, uh, maybe try that. Blanc. Yep. Oh, no, not quite. That was a good try. I'm kind of near the edge here. Uh, let's see. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Oh. Oh, perfect. Oh. Oh, yeah, really close. Stroke three, par four. We're going to make it in par this time. I got a good feeling. Got a good feeling about it. Beautiful. Hiking over it. All right. What is this? We got. We got several slopes. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So we want to kick it off 
this way up to that one. This. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then uh, realign up to here. And give it a little clonk there. Yep. Great. Great. And then that one, uh, the hole is lined up on a different axis. So we can realign so that we get there. Just like this. And uh, I want to go about here. Yeah. Beautiful. And align to the hole. Par five? Oh man. Birdie. Easy birdie. Oasis. Okay. Uh, this one's got. This has got a hole there. Um, let's realign it so that it just kind of meets up here. Where's the hole? Hole's over there. So we wanna, let's go into volume view here. Yeah, we wanna line it up so that we're cutting like so. This way. It's not too bad. And then, uh, let's see, where's the hole? Over there, so we've got to get over to that one. That's not too bad. go. I think we made it. Now I'm realigned to the hole. Oh, come on. Still got one more oasis to get through. Stroke three. Uh, oh, it wasn't hard enough. Didn't make it to the next oasis. Well, there we go. Ah, oh, it wasn't hard enough again. Oh, no. Ah, double bogey. Alright. Could have done better on that one. It's tricky, though, because you can't... There's no straight shot. Unless you bank it off the inside of those, um, those holes. I guess I didn't have the courage to do that. jumps there. Let's get a volume view here. How are we going to get onto these? How are we going to get onto these things here? So you just got to give it a good old kick, huh? Okay. Great. Oh, no. Right, well, we 
do need to have a little bit of stuff to bounce off of here. Oh, no. That's a good thought. Yes! Ha ha ha! Made it! Hey, stroke five, we're only gonna be bogey. Only gonna be a bogey this time. Unless I miss this putt. Yeah, I got it. Alright. That was too bad. The altar. Okay. Just gonna go on a little walk here. Up, uh, path. There we go, there's another one. And then, uh, there's the thing. Okay. Make it to that second one. Tiny bit to the side. Oh, so close. Ah, oh, I didn't make it though. Oh no. We're even worse off than we were before. Let's reset it. Oh! Ah. Bank it off the side there. Oh! No! It went over! Ah. Alright, but that's the way to do it. Or a way to do it. Okay, there we go. Made it to that one. Uh, I wonder if we can we can make it to this one over here. Oh no! Oh no! Now we're back to the bottom. <laughs> oh, reset the hole. Okay, stroke six. Here we go. Okay, great. Oh, that's, that's even better, because now we're not in the sand trap. Um, I should probably, should probably play it safe, but I'm going to try to bank it off of here. Ah, I should have played it safe. How about this is no thing in the way? Yes, the vicissitudes of four-dimensional space are preventing me from going up that one. Alright, so the orange makes it go more orange. The blue makes it go more blue. Orange is down. Bounce it off of there and get. Yes! Haha! <laughs> That's the way to do it! Alright. Uh, orange is not gonna do it, so we gotta get it over to the blue side. Oh my. Can we just give it a little kick up the hill? There we go! Great. Ah, that's okay. It's okay. We did it. Stroke 13 out of a par 5. 8 over. <sighs> but, completed the Dune Challenge. He mighty in despair. Uh huh. What is that? Uh... I met a man from an ancient land. Alright, Arctic. Here we go. Evergreens, dunes, right. Yeah, so now I've unlocked the whole dunes. Arctic. Here we go. 
Oh, marvelous work, human. May I call you Hugh? So someone noted that there's supposed to be this, like, kaleidoscope guy talking to you. I find your body so unusual with all those organ sacs rattling around in there. Sorry, what was that too intrusive? I had no concept of privacy. It's an omnipresent life form. He's not omnipresent, though, because otherwise he would have obliterated us with his magical thing. Keep your third eye open. Okay. Big Air, whole one part three. All right. No. down, then it wiped it out, so we gotta go further down. No! Further down. Okay. There we go. Oh, so close. Align with the hole. Double bogey. Alright, I'm sure I could get a hole in one on that one if I angled it just right. Okay, that was over there. It's connected to there. Oh, but there's an ice section, so we gotta gotta very carefully. loop. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the hole is over on the side there. So we want to make it through the loop, but not too far through the loop. Can we angle it like this, maybe? So we don't want to go... Let's let's stop it right there. See what happens here. Oh no. Nope. Got got trapped in the end here. Okay. Well that's not too bad. Oh ho ho! Oh ho 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 ho! Yeah, we 
wanted to hit the side there, but... Leaps and bounds, you say. Um, okay, so that's up. That's all up. It's all up from where we are. So that's down from us. We want to aim up as high as we can. Go. And then uh, this is going to be up again. Good. And then uh, gotta line this up. Yeah, we want that to be nice and wide. We should be able to just give it a crack and send it in. Yeah, nice. Is there a snowman? Is there a hyper snowman over there? There they are. Ah, oh, hypers. Look at that cute hyper snowman. but only in a certain slice. Oh, I'm, I'm misaligned. Uh, facing away from me. So I have to... Oh, no, I missed him entirely. Oh, I almost see him. Alright. The whole... There it is. Oh, we're so close. Birdie! Nice! It's not as easy as I thought. Oh uh, no. Oh no. I got lucky and now I got cocky and now I'm, I'm failing. Right, try not to bounce off the walls. Maybe like this. There we go. Yeah. Don't hold that back down. Not too bad. Quarter pipe. Okay. Um. Hmm. do anything for us. It's a vertical jump. Oh, I see. We've got to go sideways. We've got to go sideways onto, onto one of those guys. Maybe like this. Oh, close. But no cigar. That's going to be even harder.
No! Hit the edge. Gotta not hit the edge. No! Hit the edge again. There we go. Would have been good. Except, uh, went too low. I'm gonna lower here. Ah! Nope. Oh! Oh no! Alright, it was a little too high. Ah! It's running away! There we go. There we go. We made it. Okay. Now we can even. Can we hit the hole from here? We might even be able to hit the hole from here. Yeah. Oh. Nine over. We made it. Oh, that's a tricky one. Pachinko! Oh no. Okay. There's Kath. Yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of them. Two, three. The only one is the only slope for the the only slope for the thing is it's right here. There's the hole. The rest of it you have to Oh, I see. You can get back over there and kick back. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like it. Okay. Let's go right angles. It's always a. It's always a strat. Bounce off here, bounce off the side, and go back in the middle. Oh, didn't make it. Ah, uh, do you want to restart? I feel like I want to restart. Well, let's just play. Oh, no. Hike it up over the edge there. Uh, this, yeah, beautiful. That was too bad. Stroke four, stroke five. Got in with a bogey. That's better than we did a lot of other ones. All right, not too bad. Oh boy. Alright, let's give it a shot. What happens if we just do it? Nope. Oh, well, we can go out, I guess. That's, that's something. I keep forgetting to account for the slope. Okay, yeah, that's too much. And plus, uh. might have a fourth dimensional slope. Yes, it does! Ah, but we get made it in! Yes! Ah, I got lucky. Got lucky on that one! Very nice. Alright, let's just, uh, let's see if we can find an angle here. That's probably Where's the hole? Over there. No! Ah! Maybe down a little? Nope, that was the wrong direction. Uh, that's the wrong direction. Got to go up. Okay, 
Oh no! Too far! Too far! Uh... Oh! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! We're in! Good! Alright. Line with the hole. Put it in. Four over. Okay. No, oh, only one more. Par six. Igloo. I see the igloo is it's inside the igloo there. It's also outside the igloo here. of the hole. That is just baffling. No! Oh! What happened? Eleven over. Alright. Tip the iceberg. Unlock the mezzanine. Mezzanine? The dimensional mezzanine? Alright. Arctic challenge. Let's do it. Drop in the bucket. Hole one par four. There's the bucket. And there's the drop. So we gotta land it right there. Too bad. Uh, now we're here. I want to go 
down there. Thank you. Hopefully I didn't go down the wrong path. It looks like the hole's right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Icicle. over there. Oh no! Oh no! Let's get back to volume view here. Find the hole. Come back out of volume view. Alright, so... Set it up over here. Oh no, but it's all ice. That's all ice. Oh no. Started, started always exactly where we ended up. Okay. Very gently. Just want to get over here so we can ramp off the icicle. That's not sloped. Uh, it doesn't look like it has a fourth dimensional slope to it. That's good. Okay. That's what I need. Ah! Okay. Still the right idea. Get a, little, a little further up the axis. Yes! 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 <laughs> so we made it up. Excellent. All right. And put it in. Double bogey, but we made it. Okay. Good. Horseshoe. Uh, okay. Oh, so there's that little tiny, oh, a little tiny hole there. Oh, so close. No, that wasn't even close. That was not good at all. No. Oh. oh. Okay, maybe we can bounce it off the back there. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Yes! There we go. No, don't fall off! Don't fall off! No! 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 Why? Ah, that was perfect! Okay. Here we go. Oh! No. Didn't make it. Okay. 
four. Slip and slide. Hole four, par four. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, let's see. Course through there. And then a course through there. Yep, through there, and then through there, and there's the hole. Okay. So, um, that's where we're going right there. So, that's our aim. Good, good, good. Okay, and then we realign over here. Oof. It's gonna be a tricky one to get right. I guess if we hit it right dead on, right angles. Oh no! This is so close. Ah, it wasn't quite there. Didn't quite make it. Alright, so now. We're gonna have to go even. Let's see. Too far up, it's gonna bounce straight back. Too far over, it's gonna bounce wide. We're gonna have to go pretty far back, though. Let's it. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> we can miss a line in the fourth dimension. <sighs> okay. Right, back to volume view. Ah! Again! Right back where we started. Ah! Uh, okay. Uh, further forward. There we go. There we go. Oh! No, not quite. Didn't quite make it in. Okay. Ah! I forgot about the ice! I'm so used to doing the ice. Triple bogey. Ugh. No oh well. Angles on that last one just threw me. Angles on the last one threw me. The tube, you say. Alright. Great. Then we'll just change the orientation of our vision here, find the hole, and uh, arc it out like that, nope, nope, that was right though, nah, Oh, we gotta go even further, huh? There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay. What do we get? Six out of five bogey. Okay. Not too bad. Off the wall. Yes. Yes, yes. Find the fourth dimensional hole in the wall here. Um, let's go into volume view here. Oh dear. I fall off the course. Just put it that way then. Great. And 
then line with the hole. Oh no! Oh no! Got a, oh, I see it off the wall. I see. That's very clever. You're very smart. Oh, because I'm aligned with a hole there, now there's always a hole in the wall. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta try to bounce it off like this. Nope! <laughs> it doesn't work at all! <laughs> okay, that's blue direction, so we gotta pull this back this way. There we go. There we go. I'm lined the hole. I'm part in par. Nice. That wasn't too bad. I made the bank shot eventually. Those slopes, man. Those slopes always get me. Stroke nine in a par three. Oh well. Slalom. That sounds fancy. Uh, yep, yeah, it's menacing, all right. Thanks. Baby! Oh, almost got it hole in one as well. Nice! Alright, ski ramps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just gotta jump off all those. Not a particularly interesting, interesting course here. Okay. Great. And then just twist our view here. Oh, I see. Gotta get it lined 
up that way as well. Okay. No. Oh. Bank shot, man. Arctic challenge. Good. The ice ball. Now, is the ice ball completely cosmetic? store for us. It's been a pleasure to host you, Hugh. The multi-dimensional exchange program has a rich history of sharing knowledge. I remember aeons ago, when I was just a celestial burst, a watcher was sent to your universe. I was just going to be like alternate history thing. But by many names, it seemed very popular there. Perhaps you've heard of them. In any case, let's continue your training. Elevator pitch. Oh boy. Other of the three types of 40 cylinder, the duo cylinder is the most interesting because it has no analogs in 3D. It's two identical curved sides, neither of which is flat. The sides just look flat from different angles. So you can find a view here where the top and bottom appear flat and another where the sides appear flat. area a duo cylinder. No. There's just a, a duo cylinder in the middle. Oh. 
know. Just never heard of. Oh. oh, that fourth dimensional slope. Gets you every time. Bogey. Alright, well this is very strange. The texturing is very strange as well. Kinetic art. Oh, there's a Klein bottle. Paintings are drawn on flat canvas in three in three dimensions, but in four dimensions, paintings are drawn on three D canvas as a four D being sees the whole volume at once. The slice view can only map one slice onto your screen at a time. Viewing these paintings is similar to how a doctor would examine the MRI or a CT scan. Nice. That's a three-dimensional rabbit. And there's a fractal. Oh, is that the Mandelbrot set? Does it mm, doesn't seem like the Mandelbrot set. Can I walk over here? And, I want to read the thing on the wall. <laughs> it's a stool. It's a stool from one dimension and a bench from the other. Wow. There's like a duo Taurus or something. Okay. Nope. Oh, too hard. This one, uh, I just gotta slice it so that it pushes us through. No? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Just find the slice where it's pushing us through instead of pulling us back. bottle. The one and only Klein bottle, that's right. Despite the association with 4D, it's really a 2D surface. Springing into the fourth dimension means it becomes more ribbon than a bottle. This is obviously going to untangle the overlap. Klein bottles aren't the only surface like this. In fact, all smooth surfaces, no matter how many intersections they have, can be untangled with an without overlap in four dimensions. As long as you want As long as you construct them properly. Well, that's a pretty tightly constructed climb bottle, but nice. Nice, nice. Uh, that's where we came from. Let's see how far we can get here. No! Not correct. Oh no! <laughs> we push back. Ah. Okay. There we go. Line with the hole. Whoa. Enough. 
Fascinating tile. Five over. Well, can't win them all. Can't win them all. Moving target. Oh no. Two of them. There's those paintings again. Alright, so we're in the same. We're in the same art gallery. Looks nice that it's at least somewhat. There we go. That was nice. Where are we in the volume here? Oh yeah, we're just a little above the hole. Just a little high. Par. Great. Pop art. Arrange four cylinders in a square, you would need another circle about six meters smaller to fit in the center. This means the spheres in a cube in the center sphere must be about 30% smaller. Okay. In 4D, you can fit a hypersphere of the same size. In fact, the second cubic lattice can fit exactly into the gaps left by the first one, as this sculpture demonstrates. Oh, and there is a, a CAT scan of somebody's head. That's fascinating. Is it actually exactly mirrored? I think it might be exactly mirrored. Where did another art piece go? It's like some noise, some curly noise. No idea what that is. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? And where's the hole? There's the hole. Pop. Okay. Um. Hopefully that's not too much angle. There we go. No! Okay. Now we gotta angle our volume this way or something. Angle on it. There we go. Nice. All right, one bogey. Single bogey. Not too bad. Hey, welcome. Let me bring up. Let me bring up all chat. Oh, no one else. There's no one in chat right now. That's okay. Whoever's watching, hello. Ooh. Is there a 
better way to slice this. No. It's the other way around. I was rotating the wrong way. dimensions all right there just align it to the slice so that we can stop having ourselves an aneurysm oh oh yeah all right good oh are we aligned let's see oh no not quite oh so close Forgot to look at the art. Expressionism. Hmm, that looks like a cuboctahedron. A hypercuboctahedron? In four dimensions, there are six platonic solids, yes. The most in any dimension. But that's not true. Two dimensions has uh, an infinite number of n guns, but I digress. The 24 cell shown has no analog shape in three dimensions and made of 24 octahedra. Ah, okay. So that's the 24 cell. guys trying to get over to there Shot, but it was pretty good. That should be pretty square. That should be a pretty straight shot now. Yeah, perfect. Har! Hey, amazing! 
Amazing. Speed painting. Ooh. What's this? Just noise. Also just noise. Four-child slices the infamous 24 cell, a four-dimensional platonic solid with no analogy in three dimensions, just like you mentioned in the last course. The 24 cell neatly tiles all the 4D space and is four-colorable without neighboring colors touching. Ah, there we go. Okay. So the floor tiles are also 24 cells. That's cool. All right, let's see where we're at. Jump in there, land over there. Double rotation. Usually think of rotations around an axis, but really rotations happen in a plane. This distinction is important because in four dimensions you can have two sets of orthogonal planes, each rotating independently. It's called the double rotation. The two blocks in front of you are performing one of these double rotations. Okay. Give it a good old kick across there. Ah, oh. was a good try. A little too soon. Ah, oh, what? No. Okay, so I guess I gotta angle it a little that way. No. Even more that way, huh? Oh. Very close. Nope. Nope. <sighs> there we go. Made it. This shape is called the tiger. It's made of revolving a torus donut around a plane in 4D forming another torus. A four-dimensional torus torus. The tiger follows the same path as the boundary of the duo cylinder. It has the same symmetries, but is toroidal instead of cylindrical. Yeah, there it is. Neat. Very cool. All right, hole four over. Okay, one more, par four. Magnum opus, oh no, oh no. Is there a crystal somewhere? No, no crystal. 
what do we got here? We got a bunch of rotating thingies. We got this thing. Right, so first thing we gotta make it through all these rotating thingies. Um, maybe give it some comprehensible angle here. There's the hole! Amazing! Haha! <laughs> Birdie! <laughs> nice! Oh, I can't feel... I help but feel that perhaps I was not entirely uh, fairly treated on that course. I think maybe that final that final course was just a little bit of like auto, an auto golfer, as it were. Still the same club. Uh, let's go with the air decimal next time. There's the mezzanine. The mezzanine course. Mezzanine challenge. Inferno. Let's go straight to the inferno. Let's skip the mezzanine challenge here. Witnessing your dedication and resilience is inspiring. To this uh, omnidimensional being like myself. The last being we hosted came from a universe with two time dimensions. So they were quite confused here. Oh no. They always arrive far too early while perpetually running late. Oh ho 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 ho. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Hugh, your journey is not over yet. Yeah, you can tell because there's more locked courses. But dude. Okay, Fissure. Oh, one part three. Go straight onto there. Straight onto there. Really, I want to bank. Can I bank it off? I want to get a hole in one. I want to get a hole in one, my dude. Nope. Ball fell into lava. <laughs> nope. Alright, so what am I doing here? Yeah, I'm just I'm just kicking it off there. So that's that's done. I should not do that. Instead, I should very carefully put it forward here. And then align with the hole. I should have been doing, but I didn't. What are those things? I don't know if I'll be able to see them Some sort of uh, fountain. Oh, got some sort of four dimensional lava pouring thing here. Four-dimensional gears and mechanisms and things and pipes. Crazy. Okay. Uh, where's the hole? Over there. And okay, so it's just a bunch of slopes.
Nope. <laughs> oh no! Slow and steady, hole three, par five. There's just no, there's no edges. Fullness. Are they metal gears? Okay. Oh, I fell in lava. Um, okay, well, fortunately, they're straightforward. Okay. This way. Good. Good. All right. And we'll just twist our view here. No. Oh, very bouncy. Oh, 
wall again. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a tricky one. Rocky Road. Uh, okay. Oh, it's got a bit of a slope, huh? Yeah, I made it around. All right, nice. So we just gotta do that like three more times. Nice. Went backward there. Oh, yeah. Align with the hole. How did it? Birdie. Yes. Bedrock. Is right there. Ah, I can't quite 
quite get there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and then the drink again. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Figured that out though. Oh, we're almost done. What was that with the lava one? Volcano. Oh no. Inside the volcano, huh? Not quite okay. supposed to be doing anymore. Get over to there. No! Why? Interesting. The 
volcano is fourth dimensionally warped. Ah, a little higher. There we go. Twelve over par. Lava, complete, complete inferno challenge. All right, did it. Yikes. All right, so I haven't done the mezzanine challenge yet. I haven't done the inferno challenge yet. Let's, uh, let's try to just go for the nebula. You impressed me, Hugh. But you must demonstrate full mastery of your mind before receiving more cosmic knowledge. Uh-huh. Yeah, Cosmodius. I've seen unfathomable horrors fall upon those who are not ready. Overcome this next challenge and prove you are worthy of what? Playing more miniature golf? I guess. Worthy playing more miniature golf. That's the deal. That's always the deal with Cosmodius. Gecko. Ah. Feels very um, laser star. It's very like uh, laser tag. This is a very laser tag floor feeling to it. Fourth dimensional slope is going to get me. Escape velocity. Oh no! <laughs> no kidding, huh? No, again! Uh. All right, here we go. Very, very carefully. Four over. Moon bounce. go far enough. Five par five. Nice. Made it. A Mobius course. Oh no, we're gonna end up on the other side of the course. These are just like uh, hyperspheres. Hypersphere planets. Those aren't very interesting. side of the course. Go. Just 
got to twist it. Oh no, now we got to go on the underside. Oof. Okay. Not too bad. Par. UFOs. space on my UFO where this is <sighs> wait what <laughs> uh, okay There we go. Ah, I made it over. Okay, line up the hole and give it a pop. Oh, oh, the fourth dimensional slope. That fourth dimensional slope got me again. What? No! Ah! Really got me. Anti gravity. Hole six par four. Uh, there we go. And then twist it. And. Uh, oh! <sighs> Bounced it. out again. Out. Ah. ah. Okay, wrong direction. Go down, not up. It's not much. There we go. Okay.
Yeah, it's tricky, all right. I still don't know how we're supposed to do that UFO one. Planetary rings. tilted into the fourth dimension, a surface that appears flat may actually be tilted. Just your view to reveal new perspectives. Okay. Uh-huh. The whole thing is tilted. There's only one, two flat surfaces in this whole thing. Sloping down that way. Well, nope, too much. Yikes. Is there no uh, gravity adjustment thing here? <laughs> Sloped still. How am I supposed to get in there? Yeah, it just rolls right off the edge. Rolls right off the edge. Okay, so there is a surface there. But it's sloped. Exist where it's not sloped. Won't stick. Won't stick, can't stick. Alright, so. Figure out if there's.
actually supposed to like bank this off and into the hole. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. I, it seems like a trick shot to me. Is there some sort of trick to this? So close. Mm. Okay, a little to the left. Oof. I can't believe that this is what you're supposed to do. Like this this does not this does not seem like miniature golf to me. Is there some other intersection? Is there some other intersection where I can like, cleanly, cleanly land on the? Oh, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. supposed to adjust gravity. All right. Reset hole. The gravity adjustment thing off the edge over here. Right over here. to do. Oh, I don't know why I did that, but it doesn't matter because I'm stroke 32. Okay. okay. There we go. Our man is flat because it's not tilted anymore. There we go. <sighs> okay. Well, I was right that you weren't supposed to do what I was doing. I was wrong in continuing to do what I was doing anyway because I'm a doofus. 36 over... That's... Man. That's crazy. Okay. fast. Oh, I forgot to, to reorient. Alright, that's fine. Hole over there.
birdie. And beyond. Let's do it. Let's go beyond. Beyond? Question mark? Hole one, par three. You, I must apologize. <laughs> I haven't been completely honest with you, and now it's time you learn the truth. My universe does not really have four dimensions. <laughs> it has five. All of your training has prepared you for this final challenge. Good luck. We are watching. <laughs> you need more controls to navigate the fifth dimension. It is two new directions. Sursum and Diorsum. Okay. Walk in 5D with X and Z. Sursum and Diorsum. Hold right click to look around in 5D. Walk to the crystal for more info. Okay, so we can walk around in 4D this way. We can walk around in 5D this way. It's much harder to find the hole in five dimensions. In 4D, you'll always find the hole eventually if you keep rotating your 4D view. But in 5D, you need to align two different planes simultaneously to find it. Make use of H to help you find the hole when you're lost. Okay. All right, so here, and then you press H. There we are, we're aligned with the hole in five dimensions. If you go to volume view, there's also this one. Right click is this to way, and left click is this way. Sursum and Diorsum, as well as Ankt and Kant. All right, here we are, aligned with the hole. Come back out of volume view. Okay. 5D turns. Pull two par four. There's one more rotation to learn in five dimensions. Since the Anakata and Sursum Diorsum directions are both hidden, a rotation in that plane has no apparent effect in the standard view. Okay. This rotation is called Whirl, and is actually helpful and visible in Volume View. Hold middle click while looking to control Whirl. Walk to activate the crystal from our tips. So, Whirl... I'm now rotating both... both 4D dimensions at the same time, but it's not rotating anything in 2D view. It is in 3D view. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay. Where's the hole? It's there. Uh, gotta. Adjust our whirl here. I think we can. There we go. And now we line the hole. Come back out of volume view. Eagle! Nice! T 
Tesseract Cage. Okay, so there's the... There's the thing. Uh, the yeah, world's not gonna help us. I guess we gotta get over there. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, gotta kick it through there, maybe? Okay. Getting close. Line with the hole? Yes. Lovely. Blocked chakra. Fifth is the smallest dimension that has minimum possible symmetries. There are only three platonic solids and no special symmetric groups. The next dimension, like this, doesn't occur until 9D. So the secret is that 4D golf is actually 5D golf. Spinners may look like they're morphing and moving in usual ways, but each one is actually a single object or going at double rotation. Since 4D things are flat in 5D, the spinners are able to rotate two planes and still remain on the ground. say about now. Despite the difficulty, there's a trick to find any object in 5D. In volume view, find the ghost of the object and align it onto the volume line of horizontal light that's on the screen. Next, exit volume view and look around using only 5D look controls until it appears on your slice. It's a powerful tool to find hidden pathways. Okay.
can see it right there. We're on the path. And we're through. Oh, almost perfect too. Nice. Can we... Oh, not quite. Possible to go higher? How about 60? Technically, yes, but the big problem becomes control and human comprehension. 5D RA says an overwhelming number of controls that need to be managed in order to navigate the space, and building a mental model of the course becomes nearly impossible. But the 5D experience is worthwhile. After returning to 4D, things feel surprisingly tame and intuitive in a new way. Thanks, man. Alright, so if I just twist 5D. I think there are no edges to fall off of. Yeah, birdie! Mandala. Okay. Thing 
this platform isn't rotating in four dimensions as well. No, it is! It is rotating in four dimensions. Is that where I came from? No, no, that's where I'm going. out of alignment with it. it seems like it should be able to um, I'm coming in and out of plane I think I think I'm in. Ah, I made it. Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. Five D chess. Blocked me. All right, now I gotta rotate around. Bank shot off of this. There we go. Holes over there.
Oh no! <laughs> okay, I gotta get my five-dimensional alignment correct here. to the hole. There it is. Six over. Was that the last hole? It was! Complete the beyond course. Marble mode. Hello there. I can see a little bit of the, the effect that's supposed to be there. You have exceeded all expectations! I, Cosmodius, bestow upon you the title of Honorary Watcher! Have a safe trip through the dimensional rift and visit us again anytime! Alright, well. Spoilers for this episode. Spoilers for, uh... Very well, Hugh. Spoilers for... Forty golf. A game by Code Parade! Developers Kevin Gaelic and Omer Kafri. golf. Race against the clock as you roll the ball to the goal. Ours are based on total time. Moving keys are WASD, Q and E, and Z and X. Hold down spacebar or H to point to the goal. Under par. All right.
go. made if I got it right the first time. I'm going to call it a day. 
We beat it. We beat the game. We beat, uh, we beat this. I'm gonna have to edit this so that there's spoilers, because uh, he's asked us not to tell people. So... Uh, that'll be it for 4D Golf for today, and uh, maybe we'll be back sometime. Thanks for joining me, guys.